<laughs> Although I'll tell you what, we haven't had much skiing weather. I mean, you can make snow, but as far as any accumulating snow from nature, not lately. And it looks as though we're going to continue to be warmer than snowmaking in the coming week. Outside right now, welcome to the Weather Center. Great to have your company from our downtown tower camp. Essentially clear skies overhead as that sun sets in the west. And in your weather headlines, the sunshine returns tomorrow on our Sunday. Get ready for a Monday mix of precipitation. We may get a quick burst of some snow, then kind of icy conditions midday, changing over to rain as we get a warm week on tap and temperatures bouncing all the way into the 40s. Can't wait to show you the seven day. And a remarkable outside right now across the area. We've dipped to 20 degrees in Beaver Dam, also in Fond du Lac. It's 23 in Watertown, 25 degrees in Waukesha, still hanging on to the 30s, closer to Lake Michigan's warmer waters. 31 degrees in Milwaukee, also in Racine, and 29 in Kenosha. That is a big change from just 24 hours ago. On average, between 10 and 15 degrees warmer than we were yesterday at this time. Now, our winds have kind of died down a little bit, anywhere between 3 and 8 miles an hour, generally out of the west. They'll be meandering between the west and northwest overnight tonight. And as we widen out the view, notice the big contrast in temperatures across the center of the nation. Up to the north, 7 degrees in International Falls, Minnesota, 21 in the Twin Cities. But down to the south, 32 in Wichita and also 32 right at freezing in Kansas City, where they're going to see some icy conditions down there. But we're going to get a one-day dip in temperatures as we tap briefly into this air mass. The air mass down to the south is eventually going to lead to a surge on the thermometer awfully soon. Here's a look at the satellite and radar combination and notice we had just a few passing clouds we saw later in the day moving away. Otherwise, high pressure dominating our conditions, meaning clear skies on the way. Another winter on the way as we head into tomorrow. But look across the center of the nation, all these warnings and watches just to our southwest. Again, the football game moved to later tomorrow because of the ice storm warning that's in effect. Very dangerous conditions across the central plains. Around here, future forecast indicates we'll see mainly clear skies tonight. Lots of sunshine for our Sunday, and then Sunday night into Monday, a big surge of moisture will lead to kind of a messy morning commute on Monday. Your storm team forecast for tonight looks pretty darn good. Mainly clear skies, lots of sun, uh, star shine, and seasonally cold temperatures down to near 12. For tomorrow, plenty of sunshine to start the day. Some thin clouds filtering the sun later on. Seasonal highs up to near 30. Here comes your storm team for a seven-day forecast. Looks as though we'll see that snow starting on Monday, changing over to a rain-snow mix and eventually rain late in the day as temperatures rise to near 36. And then a very warm stretch. We'll see 40s starting on Tuesday and mid 40s by Thursday into Friday as the warm stretch continues. Well, we're going